Well, the foundation was created by John DeHaan, a businessman who unfortunately was stricken with a heart attack in 1979 at the young age of 39 years. Having successful bypass surgery, he set out to educate himself about cardiac health and immediately learned that the functional life expectancy of his new bypass grafts was disappointingly short. This motivated John to begin funding cardiac research. And as fate would have it, John's investment in research would end up benefiting him personally because several years after his bypass, he would need another procedure in which he received a stent that in part his early funding helped develop. John will celebrate his 81st birthday in a few months, something that seemed unimaginable back in 1979. He realizes it is hard-won technological advancements and the medical professionals who delivered them that allowed him to live his full life. The John D. Hahn Foundation Award for Innovation in Cardiology is John's way to give back to the medical community that has given him so much. That's a, that's a very good question. There is no specific thing we're looking for. Uh, Mr. DeHaan is a huge supporter of innovation. So any, uh, any innovation in the cardiac space uh, was acceptable. We don't uh, want to limit ourselves. There may be some very interesting areas that, uh, that could be excluded if we had set arbitrary criteria. So we really do not want to do that. We want to keep as uh, open as we can. And certainly when you think about innovation, in many cases, the most innovative projects are something that's uh, completely unexpected. And therefore, we, we want to keep the, the angle as broad as possible. So anything that's of interest uh, could potentially be a winner. This year's shortlist has 10 individuals as uh, is the way we, we, we run this. We uh, receive many uh, applications and we then take those down to a list of 10. The wonderful thing about our list of 10 is it's quite broad. Uh, there are uh, applications in uh, ambulatory monitoring, many applications in heart failure and in artificial intelligence. Uh, the shortlist thus uh, consists of uh, all of those applications and we are delighted to uh, have, have gone through this with devices, with uh, therapy, as I said, and uh, imaging as well. Yes, I can. The John DeHaan Foundation was delighted to give the award for innovation to Dr. Guillermo Wies in 2019 for his groundbreaking work. But he's going to talk about that because I happen to know he has a Euro PCR challenge to do too. Oh, wow. Thank you, Mr. Tom DeHaan. It's a pleasure to be here again in Euro PCR, almost in Paris. Wow, yes, that's when we were all together two years ago on one stage in Paris. Can you believe what the world has changed? Thank you, Tom. This is like really a nice surprise and, uh, go and good memories. And it's not just good memory. It was actually, you know, a big honor for myself, of course, and for Filterlex uh, to win this uh, uh, competition. It's very prestigious being associated with the uh, Euro PC PCR and we this is a big money that it's very important for a small uh, startup company like Filterlex and really help us to move forward with uh, preparing and starting the first in human study. Oh yes, <laughs> this is this is our this is our device. Uh, I, I, I probably you want me to say this is as three parts. It has the deflector that protects uh, the cerebral circulation, preventing the debris from the valve and ascending aorta going up to the brain. It has the lower part of the anchor that sits in the descending aorta, it gives stability for the for the whole system, and has inside also those pockets. Those are the pockets that collects all the debris, and we don't just deflect the particles away from the brain and spread them with the rest of the body. We are protecting the rest of the body. We are protecting the kidneys and other lower body organs. Oh, you, you got it. This is way it's uh, being deployed inside the aortic arch. Um, you can see how stable it is and the, the uncheating of the catheter. And, and yes, <laughs> you see how the, the, the bulky uh, sepian uh, valve is being delivered uh, through the aortic arch. Nothing moves. This, this device is really stable inside the aortic arch and uh, is very protective and, and safe.
And oh yes, so this this is a device taking out of uh, of a patient. Uh, this woman had a successful uh, TAVI, and you see uh, of the device, you see those uh, large particles, and just God forbid, think what would have happened if those uh, particles would go up uh, to the brain, can causing a devastating uh, stroke. Um, <laughs> Mick Jagger, that's the way we presented it two years ago. We wanted uh, all our patients to be safe, happy, dancing on the stage two weeks after uh, uh, Tavi. And this is not just about uh, uh, several selective uh, patients. We are moving now uh, forward with our large uh, regulatory study in Europe, in the United States, and be being able to help many, many patients that have TAVI and make that even a safer procedure to protect them, to prevent stroke that that might happen in those procedures. Thank you, Tom Dehan, Robert Schwartz, EuroPCR and the John Dehan Foundation of helping Filtelex and us to protect so many patients. It's really appreciated.